if you think back in the 1900s, uh, people were dying of uh, communicable diseases, things like pneumonia or tuberculosis. And today we have a completely different picture. Right? So the leading causes of death are things like uh, ischemic heart disease, a stroke, uh, different types of cancer, who are all problems that uh, in principle can be tackled through behavior change. It opens up the, the task or let's say the possibilities to change perceptions, choices and so on, this is the nudge. And if you don't talk about it and if you don't uh, provide a platform for an exchange about it for experts and interested people, nothing goes in a way. For me, as, as a pharma company, we have a, new, a huge understanding of our physicians, but not that much our patients. So if we want to drive something um, holistically, we need to understand both sides of the coin. As soon as we start understanding more about the need and the behavior underlying that need, really we can have a better chance to make an impact. There's a lot of debate around behavioral economics in general, and behavioral economics and health in particular. So I'm really interested to see what are the various stakeholders' perspectives on that. But my take is that for those uh, interventions to have the right kind of impact, they have to ensure that they respect people's autonomy, that they are done in the right way. This field will not evolve further if we don't collaborate. So this is a field that is really between the industries. It's a field that uh, concerns life science, concerns medtech, that concerns healthcare providers and many others. And the solution is in the middle. I think all of us have to collaborate more uh, to provide answers on how behavioral economics can impact patients.